So we've cut our five lengths and generally we'd leave those on the table and we paste them individually. Okay, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you this, this, um, the method of just pasting one piece of paper. Okay? That, when we leave all the pa pa piece of paper on the table, that's called stacking. Okay, so, this is how we're going to do it. Again, painting and decorating is this step-by-step -step approach. So we don't paste a bit here and a bit there, and this is where we create misses. So again, this step-by-step -step approach. Okay, so, again, I cut from left to right, but I'm going to paste from right to left. Okay, and we're going to do it in blocks. Okay, so I'm just going to draw these blocks on, you don't need to. So that's the number one we're going to do. Number two, I'll see if I can do these upside down. Two, three, four. Is that a four? Okay. And then, so we're going to paste all the way down that edge. Once that's pasted, we'll then bring it to this side. And then we go five, six, seven, and then I'll do an upside down eight. Okay. So that's how we're going to paste it. Now, generally we'll use a four inch brush for doing this, or at least a minimum of four inch brush, but again, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to show you what, what, we, what, we want, what we're looking for here. Okay, so I've moved my, my, my piece of paper, so it's around about two mil over the edge of this paste table. Okay, we don't want to get paste on our table, we kind of try and keep it spotlessly clean. Now this paste doesn't feel particularly sticky at the moment, but you give it a couple of hours and you've got lots of paste on there, it becomes in, incredibly sticky, okay, and it'll rip and tear the front of our paper. Also, if we, don't get, if we do get paste on there, we try and remove it, then it will become, it, you'll see it all, you see the joins all the way down, it becomes very, very shiny. Okay, so if that's on our finished paper, you're gonna see every single joint. Okay, you can get away with it a little bit on, on lining paper, so if you're practicing. So I'm just gonna take you through the, the process of it. And again, we generally use a four inch brush, but I'll just show you what we're talking about with this one. So we roll down, we go down the middle, okay, and then we brush outwards. is if you can use a brush to so go down the middle okay, and outwards. Now what we don't do, it looks like I'm bringing it in but I'm not because if I do it creates that effect. Okay. So can you see now I've got that big build up of paste there okay, and that's by doing this one. So we bring it, as I'm brushing it, I'm just brushing out and if you bring it in, I'll do it on a different section just here, you'll see that we've got a build up of paste there. Okay, let me just get a sponge and just take that off. It's important, very important to keep your paste table clean. Let's move that onto the edge. Now, again, a little painter's trick. If I can put paste on the wall with a roller, then there's no reason why we can't do it on this paste, on this table here wallpaper. So medium pile roller, just the same one that we used to put our, our paint on, go down the middle and we brush it or we roll it outwards. Make sure you put plenty on, nice and even. Put your, put your roller there, and this keeps everything straight. And pull it so it's two mil over this side of the table. Down the middle and out. Get rid of all these ridges. And if you notice where I'm keeping my hand, okay, I'm keeping it on the dry parts all of the time. So I'm getting no paste on my fingers. Okay, and again, fingerprint show up on paper. Right, so that's a full table done. Now there's a couple of different folds in uh, wallpaper, and on this occasion we're gonna use the concertina fold. This is dead easy to do. Just got a little mess there. 
Sometimes it's worthwhile just checking down your paper, just so you know you've covered it all. So, grab your paper and we're going to line the edges up. Okay, so, so it's twisted at the moment, but you're going to get that. So just get your hands, twist the edges so they're straight. Show that again. So if it comes like this, twist the edges so it's straight. Okay. Lift it up. Okay, sometimes they crease. Okay. So just put your hand on it. And again, if it's twisted. Bring it towards the edge. it up. But sometimes you might just have to just to stop it creasing. Okay, just give it a bit of a tap. Nice and straight. And again I'm going really really slow. Put it up to the edge. So now we've got two mil here, two mil there. So, that's now ready to, ready to be hung after about five to six minutes of uh, soaking time. I'll just give you a quick sort of demonstration what I'm talking about. Okay, so obviously this has got a lot of water in it now from our paste. So again, if I just measure this, and I'll do this in millimetres. So we know exactly where we are. Okay, that is exactly on 56 uh, centimetres rather. Okay, we'll give this seven minutes to soak and you'll see how much it grows. I would imagine it's going to grow about at least five mil. So if we didn't let it soak, what's going to happen on the wall, it's going to grow on the wall and this is where you get your overlaps on your wallpaper. Even when you didn't start with overlaps, you come back a few, back, few minutes later or 10 minutes later and all of a sudden overlaps have appeared. Another little test as well, there's, it doesn't really say give any instructions on the, um, or the manufacturer's um, instructions to say how long to soak them for. But if this one soaks for seven minutes, then the next one you put up should be soaking for seven minutes, and so on and so on and so on. Okay, and again, this, this avoids any overlaps or any joint separation. But a good rule of thumb should be, if you can hold it on your paste table and it flops down, which isn't quite ready yet, you can see there's a crease there, it's not flopping. That means it's not ready to go on the wall yet. Okay, so just try that on a few of your pieces of paper. So we're gonna put this on a nice clean dust sheet while we, while we paste the next piece. So as I mentioned before, uh, we're talking about stacking. I've just pasted that single piece just for demonstration purposes, but now I've brought all the lengths up onto the table. And again, this is how our, our pieces of paper stacked together. So again, we don't need to do this two millimeters over on this piece of paper. So these are overhanging, again, by roughly two mil. It doesn't matter too much. And this one's overhanging by two mil. So again, this is a lot quicker. You can just roll down. Okay. If you hang in that piece of paper the night or the day after, then I don't recommend this method. Just do it singly. Slide it up, notice I'm not going over the paste. Bring it up to it. And then the final one. Okay, I'm using, these are quite big, these, uh, these concertina folds. If you are struggling when you try and put your first piece up, just make them a little bit shorter. Some little spillage there. Take it off while it's wet. Nice and straight. Okay, and then we'll give that exactly the same amount of time as the one that we've got down here on the floor.